are packed individually wrapped. We've got tapes on the inside, tapes on the outside. And I want to show the simplicity of the, uh, the numbers of instruments that I use uh, for our surgeries, our speed space, speed castration surgeries. Our gloves, um, I have, we actually reuse the gloves, re them, you know, with care, they'll go for a number of different times. Now, the surgery pack, ours has a total of eight instruments in it. Spay hook, scalpel, three cryo straight instruments, thumb forceps, needle holder, Olsen Hager, they have the scissors in them, and a Carmalt for larger tissues. And we have the uh, uh, suture needles, so we can make a choice of what ones we want. Uh, and that, that is the, uh, the sum total of the pack, and I can do anything from, say, this very large dog down to the uh, less than one pound kitten if I, if I need to and want to. We also keep our dirt. Surgical drapes are not in the pack, they're in two separate packs. We have ones that have a, a small fenestration, only four inch, and then for our large, while well, we have just simply an inch longer, it makes quite a, quite a difference. So we use the large ones for our large dogs and the small ones. We don't have to have such a large area shade. We have our surgical steel is in my homemade cassettes, and you pull off the portion that you want of either of the sizes. The large is a 4 aught or 32 gauge. The smaller material is a 34 gauge or a 5 aught. And I just pull out what I want, cut it, and work from there. So this is seal as the suture of choice for a spay and neuter clinic because of the cost. It's non-reactive, extremely predictable, and very, very strong. What we have here is uh, our special hookup. We have uh, four little males. They've been uh, injected with Ketoset and Ace, just enough to get them to where they can't move around a whole lot, and then they've been placed in their respective masks and gassed down with isofluorane. And I have a special manifold here where I can split off my gases. and deliver it to several at the same time. I make a scrotal incision and different ways of making the, the knots in the self ties. This one here is the one that I happen to use and like, the second testicle. Placing it. A little overhand right there is a little knot. All it is is an overhand knot cinching it down. Now, this one is a little bigger. I wanted to show you the technique of the, of the tying it. This one is small enough you can actually pull these out by extra, uh, extraction. I make a single cut in this one and I push them both out, clamp them, and they can be slow traction to remove them. But when they're this small, well, you kind of have choices. They can be a little slippery, and when they're tiny, well, you have to be careful because uh, if they get away from you, Gravity will take them and just drop them right down into a very definite cesspool. But with practice and care, why that doesn't become a serious problem. Obviously, if it does, well, your assistant would be able to take the spray and actually wash them, wash them down. But that's not what we really want to do. actually half and half.
instrument, try again. What I'm doing with this movement is cinching down on the knot to bring it good and tight. These are technically closed castrations that I'm doing and not the open castration. How soon do you think they'll be awake? This one's where I'm going to put him in his cage because I don't want to, you know, because he's jumping around. Within it's been about one minute, two minutes. Yes, yeah, it depends on the cat. Within five minutes. All right, on the, these very small kittens up to about eight, maybe nine weeks, and this one is probably more like uh, <laughs> six weeks. Uh, we do not use any lig ligature ties on them, is simply take them and by slow, we call it slow digital extraction. And that's all that is necessary on, on them. He's done.